Ji Chi He was lying on his bed and fast asleep. However, through the dream, he began to feel something rather strange. In fact, under his blanket, some were trying to reach him and try to appear invisible. However, the man still woke up and was shocked to see the boy there. He immediately fell on the floor because he was very sick. Jay He tried to ask him what he was doing here, but he staggered to the door in silence. In the morning, they had breakfast together, but could not utter a word. The man still could not find a way to talk to him. At first, he contemplated asking directly what was the reason why he had suddenly appeared in his room yesterday. But it didn't go anywhere. Finally, Yu Su got up from the table and said that he had breakfast, although almost everything on his plate remained the same. He said that he had no appetite because he had a nasty dream yesterday. The man was so frozen that he could not even finish his drink. Out of anger, he squeezed his glass as hard as possible because he believed that he was the only one who had no appetite here. It all started with the fact that the boy was lying in his bed and it seemed to him that a tree surrounded his room. It felt as if the roots were trying to grab him. Therefore, he thought that it would be better to report it. After some time, the bell rang in the fire station. The operator picked up the phone and asked the interlocutor what happened to him. Yu Su replied that his house was collapsing. He said that he was growing a tree and it seemed to have become very big. Then the man asked if he could name the type of tree. The boy looked out the window and heard a strange creak. And then I saw a big melon hanging on one of the branches. Therefore, he answered that it is a melon tree. The guard was very surprised and asked him if it was really true. But when the guy confirmed it, he apologized and noted that melons don't grow on trees. He did not understand how this could be because he himself actually tasted a melon. However, he continued to beg for help to get rid of this tree. Meanwhile, a black car drove past the house. Then, with a creak, it stopped at the very entrance. A man came out from there, looked up at the height of the fence and emphasized that he was shouting that dirty things were going on there. One of them noted that the owner himself declared about this case and said that the tree had grown a lot and the house began to collapse. Another called the intercom and explained that they were from the research centre and would help solve the problem. Finally, the door opened and they went inside. After that, they heard a strange sound, as if from an explosion. Jay He was very angry. He did not understand how big a tree could be to destroy the house because it is impossible unless he ingested prohibited substances. However, when he got closer, he was shocked by what he saw. In front of him was indeed what the boy was talking about. So he ordered the employees standing behind to prepare the equipment and they agreed. After that, he knocked on the applicant's door. He did not answer at first and then asked to wait a little. He explained that the entrance door was blocked, so he suggested that the man try to squeeze through here if he is small. He was puzzled by such words and even more so by the offer. And then I saw a guy who half climbed out of the window and, weakly lowering his head, announced that he was stuck. Jay, he saw that this was not going to happen, so he ordered a chainsaw to be brought here to try to open the door. After that, he approached the boy and asked him what he was doing because the situation was very strange. Yu Su replied that it was quite spacious here yesterday and then asked for help to get him out of there. However, in response, I saw how handcuffs were put on his hands. He was surprised and asked what it was. The man explained that such cultivation is illegal. He praised the boy for coming forward, but added that they needed to do a more thorough investigation to make an arrest. Yusu didn't expect this because he didn't know it could be illegal. Suddenly, they heard that the staff reported that the door was open. And after some time, they found themselves in front of the entrance to the house, in which everything was covered with roots. Jay He saw a room in which it was impossible to take a step and emphasized that he could not even imagine such a thing. However, nevertheless, he gathered himself and said that, to begin with, they need to take samples. So he ordered his colleagues to do it and he himself decided to talk to the owner, who, it seems, was in the kitchen. He saw him calling for help from the other side of the window, so he grabbed his pants and pulled him out. After that, the boy fell on the floor and lamented the fact that everything happened like that, feeling leaves falling on his head. Jay, he asked him why he turned himself in. Did he decide to betray his organization and cooperate with them? 
I asked him to tell me how long he has been working in this field and about all aspects of his professional responsibility. However, the boy did not know what it was about. He did not understand a word about any organization there and said that he made the announcement simply because he was bothered by this melon tree, which he had asked to get rid of. Jay He was surprised to hear that wording. So he explained that he thought it was an ordinary tree, so he started taking care of it a few months ago. Yusu explained that due to some circumstances, he cannot go outside. And since the food ran out at home, he was starving. But this tree allowed him to live. However, it has been growing a lot for several days. The man started to stop him and asked if he really ate it. He confirmed this and said that he had not eaten anything except melon for a long time. Jay, here, ordered him not to deceive him because he did not believe that there was a person in the world who could eat so much of this fruit. However, he put on gloves and put the remaining part in a special bag. He emphasized that this, of course, could not be, but asked the boy if he really did not know what it was. Yusu looked at the contents and repeated again that it was a melon. The man started shouting for him to look more carefully because ripe melons cannot be green. So, the boy replied that it seemed to him a new species. Jay He was furious and wondered if he had never looked at a slice of that melon. Yu Su explained that he thought most fruits were cut like this. But the man emphasized that there is a significant difference between them and pointed to the part with the seed that was moving. He couldn't believe his eyes, but Jay He told him that it was an alien plant and asked him if he was watching TV. However, the boy said he was not watching. In addition, he noted that he does not know how to use a computer, although the man was alarmed that he suddenly turned on his shyness. However, he asked if he at least uses a telephone, because he must at least use a smartphone. The guy replied that he had problems with the equipment. Jay He stated that he already understood everything from the look of his old phone. Yusu asked if he knew anything about the alien plant and suggested calling the fire department because he didn't believe it all. The man sighed at how he could not know about such a thing and emphasized that he was sitting here under the lock as if in a bomb shelter. After that, he put his hand on his shoulder and ordered him not to even think of deceiving him. In addition, he was interested in whether it really was a bomb shelter. Yu Su said that it was almost like that because he lived as a recluse. However, when the man asked why this happened, he said that it was a long story and he would rather go and bring some fruit. But when he started to eat them, the man almost fainted and asked how he could do it. The seeds were moving there. He replied that he was used to it, and since he was hungry, it was the only edible thing in the house. Jay, he, noted that it was not a question, and he would order the delivery now. However, Yusu wondered if it would be her husband who could pick her up when everything was delivered, as she is afraid to even leave the house, and then grabbed his hand and asked for pasta and bean sauce. Jay He looked at him carefully and realized that he really didn't want to eat this junk. Finally, after some time, the boy noted that he was very full because he had not seen normal food for a long time. So, the man emphasized that now he can tell him about everything. Yu Su began his story by saying that he had a wife who looked like an angelic woman. She loved to grow flowers and she always skillfully took care of them and made sure that everything was fine. Sometimes, she criticized him when she saw that the land was very dry and asked him to explain how it happened. So, watering her plants became his duty. However, he was happy to help her until some strange things happened to him since then. Since that time, he stopped leaving the house altogether. And it was difficult for the wife to bear all this. So, one day, she packed all her things and left, leaving him, in the end, only one letter. Although, the result was expected. What woman will tolerate if her husband, at any opportunity to go out, risks being raped? Jay He was puzzled, but Jay He explained that even though it was hard to believe, he had shut himself up after that incident. The man asked if everything was really normal only when he stayed at home. The guy answered that he did, but as soon as he opened the door, literally everyone he met ran into him. Jay! He continued to hear that the applicant had never had such problems before, whether it was the students his wife taught or the strangers who came to see them. But suddenly, I started to smell something. So, he asked if it really only manifests itself when he goes outside. He said yes and would like to know the reason, but he can't even go to the hospital. 
Besides, I haven't talked to anyone for a long time, like now. The man began to feel some kind of suffocation. Therefore, he touched his tie and apologized, because he needed a second. After that, he hugged the guy by the shoulder and started sniffing even harder. These feelings were pretty much the same. And afterwards, he got up and asked him to take all the valuables right now if he had them. He was surprised at what kind of things we could be talking about. The man explained that this is something that is not expensive, but important for the soul. Perhaps the things of the deceased, something that is not measured by money. Something like a wedding ring. Yusu had tears in his eyes and replied that he didn't have anything like that, because when his wife left, he also lost the wedding ring. And now, all he has is his house and this tree. The guy smiled ironically and emphasized that he has a life now. However, the man stopped him and said that they need to leave here. He contacted his colleagues and asked what the situation was at the moment. Then he emphasized that, of course, everything should be burned. And he also added that they have a special case here, so they need to bring work clothes and a gas mask before burning. It is worth burning everything, even the shoes at the threshold, to ashes. Yu Su changed his clothes, but was scared and didn't understand why he put the handcuffs on him again. But the man ignored his question. Meanwhile, he told his colleagues that he took the car, so when they finish, they should wait for him here. The boy asked if his house would be burned down. Jay He said that it was true because there was no other way to solve the situation. The roots are too deep, and because of his ability to regenerate, they cannot destroy him otherwise. Also, he said that after the building completely burns down, the roots will be uprooted and further action will be taken in accordance with the law. However, Yu Su reminded himself that he had another problem. The man assured that everything would be fine thanks to the overalls. While already in the car, the boy asked where he would live now if he didn't have a house, as if he didn't have one. Jay He reported that the government would probably provide him with temporary housing. Yu Su was surprised that no one had thought of this until now. So the man remarked that if that happened, they would go to his house. And after some time, they found themselves in the apartment. There were very large windows, a comfortable sofa and a TV. Seeing this, the boy was glad that he had not been deceived. It was really just a home, not some kind of laboratory. Jay, he asked him to sit down as he had to make a call. After that, he added that the overalls can now be removed. Yu Su couldn't believe what he could do. However, the man asked if he was going to walk around someone else's house like that and assured him that everything was fine and he could film. After that, he closed the door behind him and started talking on the phone. The boy was perplexed but could not do anything. Meanwhile, the man asked the interlocutor if he had ever played a joke with him. And he added that he ate only these fruits, noting that he could not immediately drag it to the laboratory, so he brought it to his place for now. He said that he should examine it personally as soon as possible and make a decision, preferably today. And then he ended the conversation by saying that he understood everything and he would have to bring it tomorrow morning. Therefore, I advised the doctor to be free at this time. He hung up the phone and saw this as a stupid incident. Although, this could be a unique case for their research center. The man wanted to tell this to Yu Su, but he noticed Yu Su frozen by the refrigerator. So, I asked if he had decided to blow the door open. After that, he came closer and wanted to hear an explanation, but the guy just bowed his head and started apologizing. The man asked if he wanted to find out something. Yu Su began to tremble and explained that rummaging through someone else's refrigerator is very bad and terribly impolite. Jai He said that he will not pay attention to it and added that he can already take off this suit. However, Yu Su replied that it's not that he doesn't trust him. It's just that he has a hard time believing all of this. In addition, the boy emphasized that he does not understand what the immune feature is. Jai He remarked that he must have heard a lot of bad things coming his way. And when the boy asked how he found out about it, he explained that he had no thoughts to touch him. However, he admitted that something had happened to him that really gave him reasons not to trust him. Therefore, he gave him a knife and emphasized that if he suddenly pounced on him, he could stick it in his leg. And seeing the bewildered look, Yu Su added that even a person who has lost his mind under the influence of the plant will come to his senses if he feels pain. However, the boy looked at the knife and remarked that he would never be able to cut someone 
This is unacceptable. However, he agreed to take off the suit. So, after a while, they were sitting across from each other and Jay He was filling his details into the computer. The first thing I asked was how old he was. He replied that it was 30. The man was surprised by this, but he continued and asked what his profession was. Yu Su replied that he was a fairy tale writer, although recently he could not work at all. Jay He reminded him that he said he was married. Therefore, I asked if they were legally divorced. In response, he heard that the woman simply left the house. The man assumed that his wife might return, which amused Yusu quite a bit. But he continued that this was only a guess and he was just analysing the situation. The boy became sad again and bowed his head. However, Jehi said that the state will compensate him 100% for the liquidation of his house along with the tree. He added that the case is, of course, special, but the employees of their research centre will find a way to solve his problem and he will be able to return to society. So, the wife will have no reason not to return. After those words, Yu Su felt hopeful. He raised his head and remarked that it was indeed true and his wife would return. Jae He noticed that he seemed to have a very warm relationship with her. The guy smiled and emphasised that they were a support for each other because she couldn't even eat without him. But it was, it was quite strange because she ran away, leaving her recluse husband alone with his problem. Suddenly, Yusu started to feel his stomach rumbling. He remarked that he was hungry enough and began to talk about dinner. However, Jay He informed that he cannot eat until tomorrow morning, which surprised him quite a bit. He noticed that his face looked like it was some kind of death sentence and he emphasised that this is only until tomorrow morning, so you should just be patient. In addition, he noted that since he had been eating these nasty fruits for several months, he might not have anything to eat for one more evening. However, Yu Su noted that they never made him feel full. He ate them because he didn't want to die. In addition, he said that after eating the food he ordered, he became even more hungry. Jay He remained silent, however, he understood that this was probably a side effect of not eating properly for a long time. Yu Su still didn't understand what was happening to him. Usually, this was not the case. If he ate even half a fruit, he could last a whole day. The man listened to him carefully and tried to arrange everything on the shelves. Suddenly, the boy apologised and remarked that he was not obliged to feed him. Yu Su sadly looked down and asked if it looked like he was being too impolite. He watched his movements and thought about the pose of submission. After that, he said that he should leave this conversation and asked to follow him to get a change of clothes. The man opened the bedside table and took out some things. He asked Yusu to put on a shirt first. Although he was sure that it was too big, he had nothing else. And while he was changing his clothes, he said that now he would also give me his pants. However, it turned out that he has no suitable ones at all. Therefore, he handed him pyjamas and offered to try them on, because today the boy will have to spend the night at his place. Yusu noticed that he sleeps well in any clothes and asked him to leave all his things there. The man agreed, but noticed that he was very thin. He, with his side vision, saw how big the shirt was for him and the thought flashed in his head that tomorrow the boy should be well fed. But when he was leaving, Yusu asked if he could at least take a shower, but Yusu ignored his request. The next day, unwashed, hungry, even out of sorts, he arrived at the research centre. He had a premonition that after he left home, a lot of strange things would happen to him. So, as a child, he watched a hidden camera on TV and assumed that maybe now he is being filmed like that. Yusu was given clothes to review and Jay He said that the researcher he will meet now is a doctor in their laboratory. So, I asked him to tell him about the tree in as much detail as possible while he will examine it. But, seeing the boy's surprise, he explained that he also has a special immunity, so there is no need to worry, as it was yesterday. And he added that when the procedures will come to an end, he will return for him and take him home. Also, Jay He asked him to decide what he wanted to eat for lunch and told him to text him when he was done, hoping that he would definitely be able to handle it. Yu Su said that he knows how to send messages, he just thought that he was unexpectedly scrupulous. Meanwhile, an excited doctor was sitting in one of the offices, preparing for a meeting with a new patient. And finally, the door opened and they went inside. 
Zhu Jinga asked Jia He if he was the one he was talking about, and he confirmed it. However, the doctor's attentive look seemed very angry to Yu Su, and it scared him a little. Jia He called Zhu Jingo a fool because instead of greeting the boy, he scared him. So he smiled and said that he was looking forward to it. After that, he congratulated the exceptional case in their laboratories. However, the man was puzzled that he had not received his personal file and did not understand what kind of definition he had just come up with. But the doctor reassured him and told him that he knew his name. And to tell the truth, he was waiting for him so much that he did not even go to sleep. So, named him So Yun Su. The boy looked him straight in the eye and replied that it was wrong and his name was So Yu Su. He grabbed his hands and said he was Zhu Jinga and then asked the boy if he had eaten and washed or both. But he admitted that he did not do any of this. The doctor agreed that it was perfect and told Jae Hee that he didn't need him anymore, so he could get out of here as soon as possible. And after the examination, he held Yu Su's hand, from which a blood test had just been taken, and asked how he was doing. He explained that everything is very normal. Height was measured, vision was checked, blood was taken. Yu Su said that he already thought that he would be tied hand and foot to some iron bed. Zhu Jinga pointed out that they also have such equipment and asked if he would like to try it on himself. However, the boy refused. The doctor took out the flask, smiled and said that frankly, if they were going to do anything right, they needed the raw data. But when he saw that Yusu was scared, he said that it was half a joke. Then, when the comprehensive research results are received, they will know if the mad scientist's experiments will be necessary. The doctor asked the boy why he came here so calmly knowing that a rather unpleasant experience awaited him. Yu Su replied that there was no other option. Zhu Jinga sat down on the chair and without looking up pointed out that Jahi must not have told him much. Yu Su replied that it was true. He only heard that the tree is alien. Jahi then left for work again and did not return until dawn. The doctor began to twirl his fingers around the cup and said that he had been quite busy lately but he emphasized that we are talking about a tree now and it is difficult for him to imagine that he does not know anything about it. The guy asked if that was a problem and he said yes. In fact, seeds are carried by the wind like dandelions, but they behave like living things because they can change direction at will. The doctor showed the flask and told that they missed such a small seed and as a result did not have time to study it properly. As soon as it touches the ground, and it does not depend on the type and climate, it immediately takes root. It has the ability from the moment of settling in the ground and further, in a day, it is able to grow to the state of a small tree. And also, in conditions of a favourable climate, it carefully disguises itself as the most common and widespread types of trees in that area. It is almost impossible to immediately spot and identify an imposter. At first, there were no reservations. Because who could consider a tree that only grows fast? Yes. However, now all these trees have become a problem. For reference, when the roots of a tree reach a certain depth, its growth will stop and it will start to look like the photo. Yusu remarked that it was similar to what he grew at home. So, he added, if it reaches this shape, it becomes extremely difficult to cut it down. But a number of complications are added to this. However, before he could fully explain, he needed to ask what Yusu thought after listening to him up to this point, and whether he should personally come to their research center. He answered that no. Zhu Jinga smiled and added that, in fact, this tree has a funny nickname among the people, and it is called the love tree. He added that what he ate was called fruits of love. Yusu was puzzled, because what he heard seemed absurd to him. Zhu Jinga said that he understood that it was more like some kind of nonsense and emphasized that Jae He doesn't like it either. Not to call him that, or hear the tree being called that by others. Finally, Yu Su lowered his eyes and asked the doctor why he was given that name. He replied that this information would be a shock for him, said he realizes why Jae He didn't tell him anything, all because it is difficult for such a soft person like him to understand. And he added that he's much more tactful than he looks at first glance. However, Yu Su did not understand what he meant and asked him not to scare him. After that, I wondered what this tree feeds on, if it was nicknamed the Tree of Love and what it could be. Yu Su suggested that it might be feeding on love, but Zhu Jinga grabbed his shoulders and explained that this was the wrong answer. It feeds on families of male mammals. 
The boy was stunned, but the doctor told him that what he was constantly eating was the fruit of the tree, which, growing up, also fed someone's family. However, Yusu did not understand these words. He said that he could not understand what he meant at all. Ju Jinga wanted to say something more to clarify, but noticed the boy started to cry, so he asked why he was doing this. The doctor tried to reach him and asked if he could hear him, but Yu Su was desperate. Therefore, he assumed that it seems the boy had broken down. And already in the evening, when he returned home, he was depressed. The boy pressed his head to his knees and did not want to speak. Jay, he tried to comfort him, so he brought tea and said that he imagined that he would be in shock. But in reality, everything turned out to be much more serious. The man asked how the diopters were for him in the new lenses, and he replied that everything suited him. So the man asked if he was scared. Yusu said that his mind was empty right now, so he put on the lenses somehow by itself. Jay He finished his tea and asked if he was now analysing everything he heard in the centre. The boy gave him an affirmative nod in response. The man asked Yusu if he now understood why all this was happening to him. He replied that he did and began to cry. After that, he muttered that, releasing spores, he attracted men. But Jehi said that everything is wrong and he can't let them out. Yu Su noted that once these spores touch the males, they lose their minds and run off to satisfy themselves. He specified that the doctor of their centre told him about this, after which he explained everything in detail. So he was sure that he suffered precisely because the tree sprayed spores for a long time next to him. The man nodded his head and confirmed that all this was true because most men are not immune to them. However, even among the immune, there are none who would grow such a tree, just like Yusu. The boy was very upset. In addition, he began to mention fruits, the ones he ate for several months, and he began to think about how he did not die from all this. Jay, he didn't know how to comfort him anymore, so she told him that she ordered something to eat. But Yusu added that he was told that because of these fruits, the characteristics of the body change, and for now, he was asked to come every week. The man wondered how, after all, the tree received nutrients, because it has immunity, and besides, lived alone. And also, he asked, was there anything ugly in the fruits he ate? Yusu immediately remembered how the tree had wrapped its roots around him, but he didn't want to talk about it. So, he turned around and said that he himself was not aware of how it all happened. Jay, he found this strange. He watched the boy in confusion and could not understand what the trick was. Yusu added that the doctor also said he wouldn't say the reason. Although he assumed that the branches developed in this way because he watered it and the sun shone well on it. Suddenly, the boy's stomach started grumbling. He turned his head to the side because he felt very ashamed. The man reminded that he had eaten two hours ago and asked if his stomach was even aware that the plates had not yet been taken away. Yusu smiled and began to explain that it was all because his bowels were emptying, hence the sounds. After that, he still felt a little sick. Jay He offered to order something else, but Jay He lowered his head and said that he would prepare everything himself. However, the man noticed that his refrigerator was empty, so he started dialing the number and asked the guy if he wanted to eat more. Yusu emphasised that there was enough food and said he would make an omelette, asking the man if he would too. He replied that he was not hungry yet, and he himself meanwhile was thinking about the fact that perhaps it is necessary to buy semi-finished products. Although it was a bit difficult, at the same time Yusu was taking eggs from the fridge, but his thoughts were not on the omelette. He was shocked that he now had so many problems. Jay. He almost fell asleep on the couch while he was tidying up in the kitchen. He was very tired, so he thought that it must be time to wash up and go to bed. Therefore, Yu Su said that he will take a shower and go to bed, and he can also go to bed when he finishes. He wanted to add that they would finish the conversation tomorrow, but turned his attention to the boy. He had just finished and invited Jay He to come over and see what he had come up with. The guy put the finished dish on a plate and began to cut the top with a knife. Everything looked very appetizing. Yusu asked if he did well. The man was surprised, but emphasized that he cooks well. The guy explained that his wife often asked him to cook it, so he had a lot of practice. She is one of those people who does not like to snack. Looking at all this, Jay He realized that he needed to buy fresh products instead of semi-finished products. 
Yusu seemed to hear his thoughts and offered to buy everything so he could cook something for him. The man mentioned that he likes to snack but asked him to write a list and said that he would buy everything. And after some time, Jahi washed in the shower but could not get out of his head thoughts about the tree and that maybe he has a hobby of molestation. Although it looked like some kind of delusion. Suddenly, he turned around because he heard a loud noise in the room and Yusu calling him. The boy shouted that there was trouble. So, Jahi didn't even have time to get dressed, covered herself with a towel and went to see what happened there. An embarrassed boy was standing outside the door and begged him for help. After that, he started to cry a lot. Jay, he couldn't understand at all what happened and why he was crying. Therefore, I once again asked what happened. He explained that his lens had rolled back. And he began to ask what he should do now. Will she be pulled out along with his eye? The man tried to calm him down and offered to see what was there. So I touched his head and examined his eye. Yusu said that he tried everything to get her, but nothing worked. And now he can't see anything at all. In the end, he asked the man if she had rolled her eye and if the eyeball would need to be removed. Jay He asked Yusu why he drove her so far, and he emphasized that it was necessary to ask for help earlier. The guy started crying even harder and explained that he just didn't want to disturb him. Jay He was moved by his response, but he pulled himself together and told the boy to look down, promising to retrieve the lens as soon as possible. It was difficult, but after a while, he still saw her in the eye and asked the boy not to blink. Yusu was very focused and tried to do what Jay He told him to do. He carefully touched his finger to the eye and managed to take it out. However, as Jo He tried to help, his towel treacherously came loose and fell to the floor. Yusu had just regained his sight and was puzzled by what he saw. The man explained that the towel simply slipped. Jay He put it back on and looked down, apologizing for this unpleasant situation. After that, he gave the lens and asked him to tell him immediately if something happens to the lens again. The next morning, a conversation took place between the doctor and Jay He in the laboratory of the research center. Zhu Jinger was a little confused, but asked the man to answer if they were really friends. He, finishing his coffee, said no. And to the question whether he also has immunity, he answered, yes. So, the doctor asked if he could take the exceptional case under his care? But for Jay He, it was an incomprehensible question because he can't even remember his name. But he noted that he had a meeting outside the center, so he did not touch him. So I offered it to the doctor. Zhu Jinger was surprised that there was tapas because it is an appetizer for alcohol. The man explained that Yu Su saw that the fridge was full of beer, so he made it. He noticed that there was a baguette nearby and offered to eat with it. The doctor picked up the bread and asked if he was talking about this perfectly baked golden garlic baguette. He said yes. He happily savoured the dinner and suggested that Yusu actually live with him. Jay He explained that he would starve to death then because it was unclear when he would return home. In addition, he added that the boy eats a lot. Also, his character is not sugar. And this is definitely not a joke. Zhu Jinga noticed that something was wrong and asked what happened. He replied that nothing like that, however, Yusu cares too much about him, or he just thinks so. He said that it stresses him out. Although he told him about it, he still cleans the whole house. Also, washed and wiped all the dishes. He even manually mended all the shirts that he had prepared for dry cleaning. Does everything he tells him not to do. Ju Jinga apologized, however, saying that he envied the couple and their delicious dinner. Jay He became very angry and emphasized that his words were terrible, although the doctor didn't even notice it. After all, his attention was attracted by a note that he took out of the box. So he noted that they, after all, are on good terms with him. Jay He took the letter and started reading. There, Yu Su thanked him for helping him. At the same time, the doctor remarked that it is very nice and they become one family. At the same time, the boy sat at home and did not know what to do because he had already done all the homework. In addition, he felt that his stomach was grumbling again. Jay He was coming home and was upset. He recalled that the examination revealed that the boy had an unhealthy appetite and that he was pale and looked much worse than he was. But when he came home, he noticed that Yu Su had baked potatoes. And he wanted this for so long and ate almost everything. It turned out that he had completely forgotten that he had an oven at home. Time passed like that. 
One day, Zhu Jingha reminded the man that he didn't like the boy at first, but now they got along. Jay He replied that Yu Su is not a bad person, even if he annoys him sometimes. The doctor smiled, but called himself bad because he had moved, as it turned out, at the wrong time, even though he was his neighbour. Jay He gave him a stern look and noted that she could tell him a lot about this. But suddenly, the door creaked and Yu Su entered the office. Zhu Jingha asked him if he had changed clothes and if the size was right for him. The guy lowered his mask and replied that everything was fine and emphasised that the suit was very comfortable. The doctor was a little surprised because the suit was very small and it turned out that Yu Su had not gained any weight at all, although he noted that he heard that he eats like an elephant. The boy was angry that the man told everything. Jay He explained that this could be one of the symptoms and asked if the amount of food he was eating seemed normal to him. Zhu Jinga confirmed this and stated that the cost of food is also no joke and added that Jay He barely controls these expenses 